Today we're going to have a look at how you can use a button of any shape or size on a Unity UI and have the hitbox match that button. By default, you get the rect and it means that if your button is a different shape to that, all you're going to get is the rectangle and you can click anywhere in a rectangle. This is actually not that hard to fix, but it is a little bit tricky if you don't know how to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got myself here a little blob button that I've imported. What you're going to have to do is change some of these settings. Typically you would just set it to sprite and you'd be good to go. But the one thing that's important to note here is you want to change the mesh type from tight to full rect and you want to make it so you can read and write it. So now I have a blob button ready to go. So now let's change our camera to have a solid color on the background. And now I'm going to just simply create a UI. I'm going to go for just a standard button. I'll make this canvas the camera and set assistance to one. I'm also going to reduce the size of my gizmos. Now with this button, I'm not going to need the text, so I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm just going to make this button a bit bigger. And I'll add the blob as my button shape. I'm going to duplicate this button and just drag it across so that we have one button which has this applied so that you can click anywhere and one that doesn't so that you can see the difference. Now let's make a script to do this. And I'm going to put this inside a script folder. I'm just going to rename this button so that we know which one has the transparency. And then I'm just going to drop the script that we've written. We haven't quite written it yet, but we will write onto that button. So let's double click this and write a script for it. The first thing you'll want to do is add the library for the Unity UI. So what we're going to do is we're only going to need a single line of code. We're not going to need the update function, so let's delete this. We're only going to need one line of code to make this work. So what this does is it gets the image of the button and it sets this alpha hit test minimum threshold. And this is the threshold of what transparency will be used for it to ignore or not. So I'm just going to set it to 0.5. But say you had a drop shadow, you might want to make it so that you can't click on the drop shadow and you can change this value to do that. So let's save that. I'm also going to make another script which we're going to use when we mouse over the button that is going to change color. Now for this, we're not going to need the start or the update. We're just going to write two very simple functions. One function to, cha to change the button red and one function to change the button gray. You need to remember to add the Unity Engine UI. That's why before my image was not green and it was the other color it was simply that it couldn't find it because I didn't have this library included. And now I'm just going to copy this function and paste it again and this time we're going to go for set green. So let's go back to Unity and test this. So I'm going to add the mouse over color change to both buttons.
And now on each button, I'm going to add a component. I'm going to look for the event trigger. And I'm going to add two triggers. One point to enter. And one point to exit. I'll make a space for a function on both. And just drop this button in here. I'm going to look for the mouse over color change. And on entry, I'm going to set it green. And on exit, I'm going to set it red. And I'll repeat this for the button without the transparency. Let's press play and test this. So you can see on this button, I just need to go anywhere within that rect and it will change color. But now if I go to this one, it only when I go over the actual drawn pixels will it change. The one important thing I just want to show is that if you go to your settings here and change this back to tight, you'll notice that it doesn't work properly. You'll see that there's this weird offset and why this is happening is because tight brings the rect in to the very edge of the image and you get this offset which is the difference between where the image is from the corner. So to avoid this you just want to change your setting here to full rect. The other option you have is you could draw your button so that it's right hard up against the top edge and the bottom edge. It needs to be hard against both edges for it to work. So for something like I've done, which has left a little bit of airspace around the edge, it's really important to do that. And that's all you need to do. You can just drop this script on any button and it will give you that effect. If you wanted, you could break this value out to have, you know, put it as a, as a number for the script as a variable, that way you'd be able to set a different transparency for every button. And then you just drop it on each button that you want to work this way. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you did, please feel free to like, subscribe or comment. It really helps me grow the channel. I hope you have fun with your game development.